what three baits should you be using in the month of April to catch more fish? Let's find out. So if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. I'll just comment below and tell me what you think. And members, you're going to get some of these baits. So April, it's a great time. Great time to go fishing. Down here, we're starting to see uh, a spawn of, of bluegill that's going to happen in, in this month. We're also going to see some shad and other things. But we're going to talk about everybody in this video. Because right now, water temperatures are finally starting to warm up. It is spring, and it's spring break is here, but fish are gonna start feeding more up. While you can still use some of the baits that we've used in the past, like a twitch bait or a jerk bait, fish are gonna start to feed upwards instead of downwards. They're gonna be looking for a little bit bigger baits. They're gonna look for stuff that they can go after. Now remember, during the colder months, they're very lethargic. During the warmer months and as the water starts to, to get warmer and also when they're starting to spawn and look for that special someone. They're a little bit more aggressive. So as the water temperatures start to get a little bit warmer, you can use baits that have a little bit more action and movement. And also sound because sound travels better in warmer water. April is a great time when the water is still it's gonna come up in some places but still be a little bit clearer before it gets super warm when we start having the algae blooms and that kind of stuff. So April is a good time to start using some baits that have a little bit more noise to them, a little more vibration. You're gonna see that for us, like for me, the Rat Benny is a shallow water crankbait that I've been using with unbelievable success this month so far, or really the end of March. Uh, but, but that's because they like the vibration. So a vibrating jig and things like that are great. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about three baits that I haven't talked about yet. Three baits that I think we all probably have or something similar. So to start off, number one bait I think you should be using. Is a lipless crankbait. Now this one I have right here is the Thunderhawk. I think they call this the A10. And the reason why I like the Thunderhawk is it has the swivels turn. So keeping those fish stuck is really important. I still think that you need to have a smaller bait, a smaller profile bait. Uh, you can catch them on the big ones, but I think if you want to catch numbers using something that's around this size, there you go, that has a little bit of a noise, will be really good. The great thing about this bait is that they have it in, as I have too many baits over here, they have it in the same size, same thing. One is a silent. And then the same size is uh, the three quarter ounce. And to be honest, if you want to get one of these, you can use Get Your Fish on 30 and save 30%, I think, still. So two, one great bait that is phenomenal. The reason why I like that bait, the lipless crankbait, is you're going to get the vibration from the bait to start off with. You can either have noise or no noise, silent or, silent or the rattles. But also, you're going to start... In April, we're going to start to see some grass. We're going to start seeing uh, grass growing off the bottom. So using a lipless crankbait and bouncing it and rattling it over grass is going to catch you fish because bass like to ambush their prey. So as you rip it through the grass, a lot of times that bass is just sitting in there waiting to hear it or feel it. And that vibration and sound will trigger a reaction strike, even if they're not hungry. It's a great bait this time of year. So one of the great things about April is that you can, you should probably be able to fish the three columns of water, upper, middle, and lower. Now we've talked about the, the lipless crankbait, that's gonna be kind of the bottom of the, bottom of the sea floor. Next, arguably my favorite bait I've probably ever used is the Buka 
baby bull shad. Now this isn't the gill. The gill's a little bit wider, but I like the shad just as much as I like the gill, to be honest. Now the thing about the gill, or the shad, is that this runs about a foot or maybe less than that in the water. Now that's kind of really upper water column, but the action of the bait really sets this one apart. It's a silent, silent bait, but absolutely catches studs. Small fish, big fish, all fish will eat this. Bluegill, crappie, everything that you can imagine will eat that bait. It's a good size. It isn't too big right now, but keeping it in that upper middle water column is crucial. Once you find out what they're eating and where they're eating, you need to stop and start just fishing that water column. Like I said, fish are gonna be looking upwards now, looking up into the sky, into the sun, to find baits. They're not staying lethargic and staying on the bottom. April is the time when the fish start to look up. They're looking for, they're looking for that honey. They're looking for that man. You know what? And that's what they do. They're looking up. So remember that and fish the water column. And last but not least, there's going to be two in this one because I just feel like both of them work pretty much perfect. To start off with, this is the the uh, hyperelastic dart prop, I think, or dart spin, dart prop maybe. And why I like this one, first I like it because it's super stretchy and indestructible, but you can put a 3 odd or 4 odd hook in this, EWG hook, and it becomes pretty much a topwater bait. You can slash it, you can twitch it, you can do everything with it. If you want to get it to a little bit deeper, you can put a weighted hook on this and you'll find that it'll swim just a little bit deeper. Because it's uh, one of those indestructible baits, it's got really high buoyancy. So this spinner will be spinning nonstop, which will cause a little bit of a commotion on top of the water or under the water, just barely. And that is what these fish are looking for. Again great size and really a phenomenal bait and then last you probably haven't seen it because I haven't finished the closer look of it but here is the new Z-Man Goat's Toad and you can see it has those great flapper kickers right now is a, a really good time because it's almost frog season this is gonna stay on top of the water with a, a 3 uh, EWG hook it is a pretty much a top water bait but what you can do is you can reel it fast get those tails to kick and stop and pause it just let it sit on top of the water those bass are going to sit away from it and think that it's taking a break and just come up and kill it uh, has great action great buoyancy again it's one of those that you just i mean it's ridiculous how, how what they do the laz tech from z-man absolutely great bait in in april for you right now so there you go a few baits that i hope you catch more will help you catch more fish make sure you comment below and tell me what you think also thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button remember take a kid fishing get your fish on do it man let's go i want to see some studs i want to see some pics send them to me i'll put them in these videos cheers Hit like and subscribe to your own kids fishing. So if you like to... So if you like...